Reddit, what movie helped you through a rough time? Mr. Nobody, completely underrated movie, helped me through a rough period of time. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I didn't have a lot of friends in public school and was treated like shit a lot. This movie always made me laugh, just as it does today. It remains my favorite movie of all time. Why the hell am I still scrolling through this thread? SLC Punk. Sweeney Todd. There's just something so fulfilling about watching innocent people getting their throats slit. Smile. What is going on here? Never ask Reddit. Paul Blart Mall Cop gave me the strength to quit crystal meth. My god what have we done? Never thought much about this before. Just seemed like a kinda natural thing to do. You see, my dog died at the age of 14. I was only 3 years older. Truly a trying time for me. Instead of being able to recover, my uncle's brother's daughter's goldfish's co-owner's dog died that same day. He was a good friend of mine and we didn't know what to do. We looked around at gateway drugs, but were stopped for loitering. Paul Blart Mall Cop was the only thing that got us through high school. Would definitely recommend. Seeing all the serious replies here, not Paul Blart, being downvoted, I think it's time to report all these non-serious posts. Fuck the serious tag being missing, it's anti-serious that I have a problem with. What dreams may come? Oh, God, anything to take my mind off of her for a while I lean towards gritty, CD noir and stuff like Fight Club, Train Spotting, Barfly, etc. But after a while I kind of found some solace in watching cheesy romances meet Joe Black comes to mind, God what a fucking terrible film that was, I'm a little embarrassed to say the other ones they were all terrible, actually she ruined me. Smile. Love actually gets me through every Christmas. Because I love to watch Paul Blart Mall Cop. I don't know why but Stuck in Love really inspired me to continue my writing. I have passed out copies of my short stories and people love them. Ginger Snaps. I watched Forgetting Sarah Marshall on loop whilst going through a breakup and finishing my sophomore college finals. It was pathetically hilarious, but I can't ever say bullshit the same way again. I Love You Man has always been my go-to movie. No matter what mood I'm in it's always there to help. People have read it. I fucking love you guys. This just made my day. I was in Ecuador having a rough time until I saw Paul Blart Guardia de Seguido del Centro Comercial. I thought Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Really made me feel all kind of things I have never felt before. Years ahead of its time. Peanut Blart and Jelly. Believe it or not, the Rugrats in Paris movie. I was having a lot of family troubles and I decided to watch it out of nostalgia. It helped me realize that almost everything, except most diseases, sorry guys, gets better with time. I feel like the new Sean William Scott movie just before I go would have helped me a lot because I struggled with depression. It's just a reminder that everyone lives for someone. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I have a few favorite movies but this one is the one movie that really hits home. Every character in that movie reminds me of a little piece of me and I love that. I also went through something similar as the main character and didn't realize it at the time until I connected everything together. It's really a gentle film and if there is one movie that will always connect me to my teenage years, that movie will is it. I know Paul Blart Mall Cop is a nothing less than a masterpiece but since people have mentioned it countless times I figured I'd give another one just in case. Oh my god it's a new Tom Cruise thread. Paul Blart, Mall Cop. The Big Lebowski. Every time I need to unwind I go and watch that movie. It's actually on Netflix now. I was recently fired from my job. I was a mall cop, there was only one movie that could really put a smile on my face. It just brang back all the good memories and good times I had. Paul Blart Mall Cop saved my life. Well usually the actor Kevin James cheers me up. Jurassic Park 1 and 3 after advanced finals in HS. PBMC. There's a really great Spanish film that came out a few years ago that I always watch when I'm down. 
It's called Pablo Blato, and it's about a security type officer in a municipal commercial center. In high school, mall rats. As an adult, Little Miss Sunshine. About a year ago, I watched it three times in a day and everything felt better. Oh my god I love Reddit sometimes. Paul Blart Mall Cop really helped me when I left Mormonism. You know what Op? I'm going to do you a solid and give you a real answer. Back in junior year of high school, my best friend, more like a brother, had gotten in an accident where this dude ran a red light and t-boned his truck. He died on impact and it really fucked me up for some time. About a year later, my other friends invited me to go see this new movie in the theaters and I went ahead to watch it. Turns out, Kevin James knows his shit and Paul Blart, Mall Cop got me through the death of my friend. I can't think of a single tough time that doesn't involve me looking back at that silly guy and smiling. The Grand Budapest Mall Cop. Blau Mart Plaul Plop really helped me get through some rough times after my second cousin got autism and my uncle's favorite singer's cat died. Rubber. No reason. In the Steven Spielberg movie E.T., why is the alien brown? No reason. In Love Story, why do the two characters fall madly in love with each other? No reason. In Oliver Stone's JFK why is the president suddenly assassinated by some stranger? No reason. In the excellent Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper, why don't we ever see the characters go to the bathroom or wash their hands like people do in real life? Absolutely no reason. Worse, in The Pianist by Polanski, how come this guy has to hide and live like a bum when he plays the piano so well? Once again the answer is, no reason. I could go on for hours with more examples. The list is endless. You probably never gave it a thought, but all great films, without exception, contain an important element of no reason. And you know why? Because life itself is filled with no reason. Why can't we see the air all around us? No reason. Why are we always thinking? No reason. Why do some people love sausages and other people hate sausages? No fucking reason. My uncle Ames Kevin Deer always said when your life starts to resemble a fart, watch some Paul Blart. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Paul Blart, mall cop helped me through a midlife existential crisis. Pulp Fiction Apocalypse Now Up Lady and the Tramp Benchwarmers Lego Movie American Pie Raiders of the Lost Ark The Shawshank Redemption Madagascar Alice in Wonderland Loop Illegally Blonde Clockwork Orange Oceans 11 Pacific Rim Pacific Rim and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World are my two movies for when I get down. Both are about watching the world burn around you only to pick yourself up from your shitty life and save the world. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Paul Blart Mall Cop cured my Ebola. I know this will get buried. But I just had to Paul Blart Mall Cop. I hate every single one of you. Thank you for posting this. A very sad moment in my life a while back, and for some reason, decided to watch a movie. I just chose Babel. It was the perfect movie to watch. Deleted. Oh, God what the fuck is happening in here? Big fish, after my father died. Well it all started when my puppy hung himself. My grandmother bought me a special movie to cheer me up. Paul Blart Mall Cop. Kevin James brought my puppy back to life and gave my sister super aids. Thank you Kevin James. After a super heavy breakup that absolutely crushed me. Eternal sunshine of a spotless mind. If that doesn't work then Terry's always Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Is this going to be the new Lokeness monster? The movies that helped me through a rough time are Requiem for a Dream and The Basketball Diaries. I went through a very difficult time with addiction and seeing those two movies really made me reflect on the person that I had become. Especially the part where Leo's mom called the cops on him as he was begging for drug money. Ripped my heart out and I haven't looked back since. Requiem is a very, very dark brilliant film that truly captures the pitfalls of addiction. I would really recommend these films for anyone struggling. This is just amazing, I was actually having a stressful day until I came here. 
literally just scrolling through reading all these ridiculous Paul Blart cheer up stories. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind after a breakup. Fun with Dick and Jane. I was going through my first huge breakup and after I saw that movie I realized that there will be someone out there who gets you for your quirks and will put in as much effort to make things work out no matter what as you do. Which both Dick and Jane did for one another to make ends meet. Plus it's a pretty damn good movie.